Hey everybody, what's up? It is Patrick from Magnetic Nerds, and today I'm going to dive into my childhood, get the little nostalgia train rolling, and make the Green Ranger's Dagger from Power Rangers. And for all of you keeping score at home, here's a list of everything I use to make this project. I got the file for this print off Cults. The creator is Surfenberg123. I'll leave a link to that in the description below. This was yet another really easy print. It took about 24 hours to print the entire thing. Once I got all the pieces off the printer, there were some pretty aggressive layer lines that I wanted to knock down before I started gluing it together. So each piece got a very rough sanding job. Because some of the bigger pieces had some aggressive layer lines and then there's details I did not want to lose by going through and sanding those pieces, the larger pieces got coated in XTC 3D to help fill in those layer lines and smooth out the piece. With the resin cured, it was now on to assembly. I used acrylic cement to glue some of the pieces together. Hindsight, I probably should have put everything together and then started spreading resin all over it because even with the XCC 3D on it, I still had some crazy seam lines which needed to be filled. To smooth out the putty, I just used plain old water. And now, it's on to everybody's favorite part of 3D printing, sanding and priming! Yay! And now that I've made it through yet another sanding and priming gauntlet, it was on to the easiest part of the project, and that was painting. Because this is a prop from a 90s kids TV show, the color scheme is pretty bright and simple. Black, green, silver, and gold. I started off with a base coat of gloss black. All the details were painted in gold.
With this project, I chose not to weather it at all. Usually, I love weathering everything I make, but for this one, I left a nice, clean, finished prop. Plus, the show Power Rangers really wasn't known for weathering anything. Everything was bright and shiny and crisp. The green on the dagger, I used Mr. Colors Metallic Green. Side note about this, it's a lacquer, not an acrylic or an enamel. So if you're trying to recreate this project at home using the material that I did, just be mindful. Lacquers are a little bit different of an animal than an acrylic or an enamel paint. The last little detail, the last part of this project I did was the pins that you see the Green Ranger use to make the various sounds to summon the Dragon Zord. Well, those actually move on this model. And the movement is achieved using springs from a ballpoint pen. It was a pretty easy process. The spring gets inserted into the hole, the peg gets put in there, and you glue everything in place. The final touch was a semi-gloss clear coat. And now, I have one cool toy to add to my collection. Something that I loved from my childhood that my parents never got me. But now, I have it and it's mine. I was a big fan of Power Rangers growing up. I came across the files online and thought, yep, it's gonna happen. So, here we are. I have one cool little prop to display on my shelf. And as always, 
Like, subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you guys next time.